Now, the next aspect of food that students study in design technology is food specializations. And this is particularly interrelated in with health and PE and looks at the preparation and selection of foods so that students have a healthy diet and gain the correct mix of nutrients and um, vitamins and so forth that they should be gaining from their food consumption. So there are a range of different activities students um, explore, particularly around healthy eating, eating and the selection of different types of foods, having a balanced diet um, and so forth. But it can also incorporate then the production of food, how to make various um, food items, making a pizza or a cake or sushi, and learning about the different properties and nutritional benefits of various foods in making those selections. So a big part is around knowing what is healthy and the different food groups and how to ensure that they get a balance across these various groups. And I provided you with a range of documents to have a look at and explore your own eating habits to seeing whether or not they are within the guidelines um, for healthy eating. Now, a lot of this is to do with food selection. And this can bring in concepts around advertising and around how we can often go for convenience foods, fast foods, but also how when we go shopping, sometimes um, not so healthy foods are made more attractive through where they are advertised within a, a supermarket. How sometimes particularly attractive food to young children are placed down quite low so that they are drawn their attention to those and other items, whereas the healthy food may not be as um, attractively placed. But some um, supermarkets do have opportunities to counter that, where they're offering, say, free fruit to young children and, and so forth, other things. But they tend to also do the advertising to children of the unhealthy foods as well. So these are things that the students can explore. And it may involve an excursion to a supermarket, for example, or to a local shop to look at what sort of foods are available, how many processed foods are available compared to fresh foods. And they can do some statistical um, data collection and analysis of different types of foods that are available and presented and so forth. They can also explore nutritional values from the labelings on foods and look at websites that include that data as well. So think about the different types of activities that you could do with your students and how they can explore the benefits of healthy foods and the disadvantages of unhealthy foods. But also they could look at how the attractiveness of foods can influence our eating habits and how what was called plating, making foods attractive, can help engage us with eating uh, foods that we might not necessarily be attracted towards eating. So making um, nice, attractive food plates where the uh, food looks like animals or um, characters from movies and TV shows can help engage students with eating food um, that is more appropriate for their consumption. And the students can design that as a solution to a problem. So other things that can be incorporated in is looking at taste testing and looking at why different foods taste differently, why there's sometimes unhealthy food tastes really nice while healthy food doesn't taste as nice. Um, how could we change that? Um, and these are things that can be explored, particularly when we look at services and how we can create different processes to make foods more attractive. So these are aspects of food specialization that you can explore with your students.